Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. And we got sisters that ride by and look at black men try to stand up and change the community. We ain't out here thugging out here, horning our women. You got married men with jobs up here trying to change the, the, the terms that they got on the black man today. Because we're not niggas no more. The Israelites is back on the earth. The real gods of the earth is back. And we out here to set it in order, but we can't get no support from our people. Why is there so much hatred between us? Give me Leviticus 1917. The Bible commands us not to do that. This Bible is the lifeline to the black community and the Hispanic community. But because we're so detached from it, this is what you get. You get black men killing black men. We don't even need the white man no more. If you take the white man out the picture, the black man will destroy himself right now. That's why we got to stop the cycle. But the cycle only stops when you get men and women that step up and change it. Read. This is the book of Leviticus. Chapter 19 and verse 17. Read Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. The Bible says not to hate your brother in your heart. Your heart is your mind. We see another brother and the first thing we want to do is what can I rob from him? What can I steal from him? I wonder if he got a wife at home that I can lay with. I wonder if he got kids at home I can lay with. Our people destroyed these days. I wonder if he got kids that I can kidnap. What, what's wrong with our people? We don't even need the white man to do this. It's happening by our own, at the hands of our own people. My brother right here, what's your name? Jose, what's your nationality? Mexican, right? Now look it, would you know that y'all was the same people? I'm gonna give y'all some quick history, check this out. You believe in the Bible at all, bro? Okay, C Catholic? Yeah, I figured. When you read the Bible, God chose a man named Abraham. Abraham had a son named Isaac. Isaac had a son named Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons. If you look on this sign right here, those 12 sons had children that had children that had children that had children. Today those children are called Mexican. African-American, Dominican, Puerto Rican, Colombians, Haitians, Jamaican. Those are the chosen children of God. Right. But what's the number one rule in war? Divide and conquer. So if we separate the Mexican from the black, we separate the Puerto Rican from the Dominican, we're going to teach him Spanish, teach them English. Now we can control all of them. So what are we going to do? We're going to give them rap music. We're going to give them wicked movies. We're going to give them gang culture. We're going to give them drugs. We're going to give them STDs. All of this stuff was implanted in you. Now I'm gonna ask you, Jose, check this out, right? You got kids, bro? You don't? How old are you? You 26? Do you love your people? Be honest. Mexicans, they just had, I just, what, what was that Mexican Independence Day? You had all the flags flying around. They was representing pride, right? So do, was that you? Was you a part of that loving your people, right? Nothing wrong with it. Embracing your people, it is what it is. They're my people. That's your people right there. This is your people right here as well. The so-called Mexican and African-American, the same people. Don't let the color or the hair texture separate you, separate us from who we are. We are, by bloodline descendants, we are the same people. So I'm gonna ask you, you see what's going on in the South, right? They're building up a wall and keeping you out your own land. The Native Americans wasn't the only ones here when Christopher Columbus came over here. Your people was too, the so-called Mexicans. Bring it up. They was here as well. And what did they do? They pushed y'all out and built a wall up to keep y'all out. Now when y'all try to come back home, what do they do? They tossing our babies in cages, bro. They got our babies in cages. But the thing I want to want, the thing I'm wondering is where the so-called Mexican leaders at? Well, where's the Cesar Chavez is at? You know Cesar Chavez, right? Was he the last one of a dying breed? Cesar Chavez put his life on the line for his people. He stepped up, fasted. March, did all of that, the same thing you see Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, the Brown Berets. These are so-called Mexicans or Hispanics that stood up for their people. Where is those men at now? Right out. I'm looking at one right now. Just waiting to get the knowledge and understanding. Right Just out. waiting to get out your own way and step up and save your people. I Do you think the so the so-called you think the so-called Mexicans need saving? Look at our people. You guys, the Mexicans, don't nobody work harder than the so-called Hispanic, right? But how much are we getting paid? Watch this, read this, give me let me take this. I'm gonna show you, this Bible is your history book. Watch this. Remember, oh Lord, what has come upon us. So the Bible says, remember what's come upon us. This is what our people was crying out to God. 
He said, remember what's come upon us. Read. Consider and behold our reproach. You want to know what that reproach is? Well, you can't even walk down the street safe because you got to fear that your own brother might rob you. You got to fear that your own brother might up a gun on you. You got to fear that your own people might try to break your daughter, molest your kids. You got to fear that amongst your own people. So we crying out, remember our reproach. Then on top of that, the so-called white man taking our kids, putting them in cages. It ain't happening just at the border. If the police rolled up on you right now and said you fit the description and put you in the cage, do you got the, the means and the income to fight the case? Or are you going to sit? You fit the description of a murder. Your bail's going to be set at a million. What you going to do? You going to fight. You got a lawyer? You got the money for it? Because that's a lot of money. You got to bond out. You got to get the lawyer. So basically, if you don't got the means to fight, you've just been kidnapped. A grown man kidnapped. And they can do it, and what can we do? If they just come and say you fit the description, they taking you, what can you do? Nothing. Because we don't have God on our side right now. Read. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Our what? Our inheritance is turned to strangers. You know what this is, bro? This is the prophecy about the so-called Hispanics. Watch what it say, listen. Our house is to aliens. Read that part again from the beginning. Our inheritance has turned to strangers. The Bible says our inheritance has turned to strangers. You know what your inheritance is? You're standing on it. This land was the inheritance to the so-called Hispanics and Native Americans. Right. The Bible says our inheritance is turned to who? Stranger. They like to call y'all aliens. But the real thing is the so-called white man is the alien here. Right. This is your land right. that was given to your people from the Most High God. But when we went out into idolatry, start serving other gods, falling into Catholicism, guess what happened? God took this land. Read. Our house is to alien. Our house is to who? To alien. The Bible says that the white man is the so-called alien. Right. This is your land. This land was given to you. It wasn't just given to the so-called Native Americans. It was given to the Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Mexicans, Argentinians. Those are the same people. Read. We are orphans and fatherless. We are what? Orphans and fatherless. What are they doing to our fathers? They're taking our fathers and putting them in cages. It was the whole plan that they plotted out. Take all the older guys, all the leaders, and then leave a bunch of young kids out here to kill themselves. And that's exactly what you see going on. It's no leadership, it's no structure. You think it was a coincidence what they did? Right. You think that the white men just wanted to lock up black and Hispanics for gang banging and selling drugs? They put the drugs in the community. It was a whole system set up to get the leaders out the way and leave a bunch of young guys, unguided men out here. Right. And the results that you see is all these brothers out here dying. Bro, what's your name? Tyrese. Who? Tyrese. Tyrese, how old are you? 27. You, you 27 too, right? 26, 27, about the same age. Did you know that that's your brother? Did you know that? You see that as your brother? Salute. That's your brother. Y'all got to understand and see that. We're the same people living in the same conditions. Just on top of each other. We are the bloodline descendant to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You ain't no African-American, no Negro, no color. That don't make sense. You ain't no Mexican, Latino, or Hispanic. It don't even make sense. These are all terms that was put on us in slavery. My brother right here, what's your name? My name is David. David, this is all our history right here. Yes. In this book. Yes, I understand that. This book don't belong to no so-called white men. It wasn't written by no white men. It was written by men that look like you and you. But hold on, I want to show you something. Watch, read on. We are orphans and fatherless. We orphan and fatherless because guess what? They took our fathers and they taught them Christianity. They took our fathers and they put them in prison. Read. Our mothers are as widows. Our mothers are as widows because why? They killed the fathers. They locked them up in prison and they killed them. This is all documented in the Bible. Read. We have drunken our water for money. We did what? We have drunken our water for money. I want y'all to listen to what the Bible is saying right now. This Bible is a real book, a history book, written by your forefathers. Read. Read that again. We are, we have drunk in our water for money. You hear this, bro? My brother, what's your name? Right here. Who? Jermaine. Jermaine. How old are you, bro? You 23? So what we're showing is that the, you see this as your brother right here? You see them as your brothers? 
That's hard to, to say a lot of days. A lot of our people don't see that or believe that. But this is your brother. That's your brother. When we get that mindset and understanding, when I see my brother hurting, I got him. Nowadays, when we see a brother hurt, we want to talk about him. We roasting him, gunning him. If he ain't with the team, then he a op. Chicago is home of the ops. Everybody a op. How that's your op? Y'all got the same grandma, the same auntie, the same uncles, but he your op. Y'all look just alike. You got the same one in here, dark skin, got the same brown skin, straight hair, look just alike. But because you was born on 63rd and he was born on 57 or 51st, y'all ops. How much sense do that make? You was brought over here on a slave ship. You was brought over here on a slave ship. You was taken from here on slave ships. We are the Israelites. Right. One nation of people. Right. We have drunken our water for money. The Bible says we have drunken our water for money. Why are we buying water? Freedom! We can set up a filtration system to clean that water right now and won't nobody be dying of thirst. The water come down from the sky free every day almost. Right. Every day is raining somewhere. So why are we paying for it? The Bible prophesied that that would happen. Read it again. We have drunken our water for money. We drinking our water for money. This land belongs to you. What are you doing to fight for it? All right, let me ask you a question, right? You, you Say you're at home. Say a man just come into your home, kick your door down. He kidnapped your kid, slap you, beat you, punch you, kill your wife right there. Do you just lay down after that? Or do you stand up and make it right? You make it right. You know how you make it right today? Gather your people together and keep the laws of God. Because guess what? We can't go in defeat. We can't go to war with the so-called white man. We ain't telling nobody to go pick up no guns and swords to go try to kill white people. No, we don't need to do that. Because God says all he's doing is waiting on us. To don't go nowhere, bro. You need to hear this. It's very important. I, but you, you get what I'm saying? We're not telling our people to go pick up swords, none of that. Because God says this war is his. When you read the Bible about Christ coming back to tear the earth up, you know why he doing that? For you. Because we can't go to war with the white man. All he got to do is turn the water off. They got too many guns. When you read the Bible, everybody talk about Christ coming back. But they don't know why Christ is coming back. Christ is coming back to kill. When you start seeing brothers standing on this corner, Everybody got to wear a mask. That's God giving you warning. That's God giving you warnings and signs. Judgment is about to come. You think you bumping into us was a coincidence? It wasn't. It was ordained by the Most High. I'm going to send you over there. Your brother is going to give you a message. Take that message and change. So, so give me that Psalm 9, Acts 319. Take the message that you've been given and change. You got to come back to the laws of God. You got to come back to your real history. You are an Israelite. That beard that you got on your face. That's a commandment. Never shave it off. Keep it lined up, keep it clean. Today, we're not supposed to buy or sell. That's our culture, our history. You see this right, right here? Our people, fridges on their garments. That's our history. This right here. This, this wasn't, you see this on a lot of Native American garments. This is our history. The, so, the, uh, the Sabado, siesta, the day of rest. That's history. That's our culture. Read. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore, and be converted. So the Bible says that message that you get, bro, repent and be converted. You know what it means to be converted? Or for, what does it mean to convert? Exactly. Change. It means change. So if I'm out here gangbanging, selling dope, I got to stop. Because I'm not hurting nobody but myself and my people. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.